Hello everyone and welcome back to Something's in the Air. So today, we're gonna try and get with Pala, or we're gonna go try and meet Pala, or something. I have no idea where Pala is besides being at the diner at some point. Okay, it's the girl on the left here, with the red shirt, and um, I'm just gonna go in and look at the, uh, the gallery, and see if we can find any information about how we might be able to find Pala. Okay, I gotta find out who I went to the diner with, I don't even remember. Hmm. Okay, Ariane Burns, seen on a date with Rebecca. They went to dinner, to the concert, and blank. Okay, so that was the, um, that was at the bar, right? We saw her kissing a girl. Who's Rebecca? Okay, you're Rachel. You're Paula, who we know nothing about, but you bought donuts at a drive and dine. <laughs> and that's Bonnie, Veronica, and Stacy, and Wendy, and Lexi, and these random women. Alright, so I can't seem to find much information about the drive and dine other than the fact that, uh, I was there at some point with someone, but I think Ariane had a bunch of choices, and one of them was to go to a diner. So, um, we did go to a movie together, okay. So, I'm thinking maybe we can go to the diner with her. Let's try that, and even if we don't find Paula, we'll at least, uh, get to spend more time with Ariane, because she has a bunch more endings we haven't done yet. Another date with Ariane. Good. This is story one. I, I think story two is if you go to sleep again. I don't know. I'm guessing if she wants to go on a formal date, she's not gonna want to go to a drive and dine. Try, try going back. Hang out at my place? Let's try that. Don't have pool or hot tub like you do. And most of my stuff is still in boxes. Okay. Never, never mind. She wants to go formal. Let me see. Go back again. Looking forward to hanging out at your place again. I'd like to go out. Real formal date. Okay, so it's a formal date either way. So I guess I'm just going to go with different is cool with me so that she doesn't get all bitchy and be like, Whoa, why, why are you telling me you want to do this thing? I said what I want to do. So, um, let's just go with suit. Got it. Be really nice to her. And maybe we'll go somewhere. Okay, I'm just gonna take a second to look here and see what's going on. Okay, the girl from Mecca Mecca is in the back. She's outside the window. I think that's a window, is it? Yeah, they're outside on the street. Okay, Stacy is uh, throwing the stuff at uh, us. Accidentally hits Ariane. Um, you know, Bonnie is behind the bar. Everything seems to be going well, except for the fact that this is happening. But, um, just skip ahead and see what else happens. She changes out of her clothes, right, and goes into something less formal, maybe? Here we go. Okay, now we're at the drive and dine, okay? This is where Paula is. We made it. We're here. Now, where is Paula? Paula, girl, where you at? Just gonna skip ahead. There she is, right outside the door. Okay, so how do we get Paula to us so that we can bang her? I don't know. I don't even know if you can bang her, okay? We're gonna find out. It's gonna happen. There she is, like, what's up? G give, me some, give me some stuff over here. Okay. I don't want to hear about the date. It's not even a big deal, okay? Yeah, it, it was fun. You had lots of fun. She looks kind of different last time. I don't know if they changed her slightly. Her eyes look a little bit different. Maybe it's the makeup. I don't really know. I don't like to delve too deep into women looking looking different than they used to because, you know, that's the slippery slope right there. Okay, there is Paula. She's got the donuts and she's leaving. Paula, come back. Come back, Paula. I, I, I want to talk to you. I want, I want to know what's going on, okay? Just, just going to skip ahead. Ariane, just keep talking to me. I don't care. Not interested in this conversation. I just came here for Paula. Paula, Paula, come back. Okay, we're going to see a movie. Maybe we'll just, uh, maybe we'll just uh, go ahead and get this date out of the way with Ariane. Okay, she didn't like, she didn't like the romantic comedy. Maybe we can see, um, maybe we can let her decide. Maybe, maybe she'll decide. It's my choice to go to the movie. It's your choice to pick one. Okay. Shit! Don't choose a romantic comedy. You didn't like it last time. Okay, let's see an action movie instead. Okay, the theater is crowded with the Saturday night. Date crowd, you stand in line for popcorn and drinks while Ariane goes to the ladies' room. Cool. You're wearing sunglasses inside. I won't judge you. When she gets done, you are still in line. Ariane has her three oh three d glasses. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't jump to conclusions, Ariane. You're a great woman. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should go save us some seats. That that's actually a pretty good idea. Okay. The theater's not as packed as you'd expect. You find Ariane easily enough. You picked a movie that has been out for a couple weeks. Smart. The bulk of the crowd is in one of the other theaters. If you want to see something else, no, it's cool, I prefer less crowded, and these are great seats. Why would you, why would you say that? Why would you say if you want to see something else? Because, like, you know, it's good, it's not like it's a bad thing for there to be no one in the theater. I love doing that. Anytime you go to a theater, there's no one there, it's like, yeah, okay, now I can go wherever the hell I want. Okay, then, let's enjoy the movie. The movie is starting. The MacGuffin Job 2. Dun, 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 dum. Okay, so this is basically like, uh, uh, what's, what's it called? MacGyver, there you go. It's a MacGyver movie. It's great so far. Lots of action. Got some uh, Transformers kind of thing going on. The end. Fantastic. So what do you think of the movie? I'm going to say I liked it. Really? You like that direct? Oh, go back. Go back. It wasn't very good. It wasn't very good, Ariane. I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. 
that's crabby movie, right? I totally agree. Lots of chase scenes and bullets, but I don't care about a single character in the film. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to care about people. I care about you, Ariane. You wanna you wanna do something fun together? I, I might be able to see Paula somewhere else. You never know. You might you might see her around. There's gotta be a reason she's in the story, right? I mean, you gotta be able to do something with her. I don't know if it'll be like a threesome with Paula because I know there's a threesome with a Mecha Mecha at some point. The girl from a Mecha Mecha. Who knows? Let's just go ahead and keep on going. Bad guy seemed pretty evil. Yeah, but he's the only one in the movie with any integrity. I was secretly rooting for him. Really? Well, who else was there to root for? Chance, who let his partner die? The eye candy chick who wrecked her car twice? <laughs> oh, wow. You were totally right. Let's face it. If, let's, let's face it. The movie was designed to cater to international audiences. All visuals, little dialogue. I let you pick the movie. So I will decide what we do next. I'm sorry, Ariane. I will go to a good movie next time, okay? Don't worry. Very well, what's next? Well, there's nothing better to go over a bad movie than chocolate ice cream. Okay, this is different. We haven't got chocolate ice cream before. Where's Paula? Has anybody seen Paula? <laughs> She's going to be like, why are you so distracted, man? Why are you looking around? What's going on? Well, I'm looking for a different woman, okay? That's just how it is. I want what I can't have. And right now, I can't have Paula because I have no idea where she is. I couldn't help but notice that the SUV in the movie is the same make and model that you drive. Who says that? Why, why would anybody care? Yeah, I noticed that too. Maybe I should add a machine gun and Sidewinder missiles. Uh, missile launchers on mine as well. That'd be cool. Why do you drive an SUV convertible anyways? It does not seem like the kind of vehicle you would drive. It's our second date and you still have not figured me out yet. What, is, what does that mean? What, what, what's going on with Ariane? A Ariane, you okay? You okay, girl? Well, now that I think about it, maybe I have not done anything to clue you in. I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie. I like the thrill of doing dangerous stuff. Kind of funny that she likes doing dangerous things and she likes adrenaline, but she doesn't like watching action movies. You think that would be right up her alley. Okay. Should I say that, um, it's me too? I'm going to say me too. I love adrenaline, man. Let's go jump off a building together. That sounds awesome. Knowing that should make planning our next date a lot of fun. Well, I'm not a real thrill seeker type. I'm not into jumping out planes or anything. And I don't like getting caught or injured. I won't do anything that is really high risk. Okay, so you're a loser. You're a fake adrenaline junkie. You're a phony. She's a big fat phony. This girl right here's a phony. You do not sound like a real adrenaline junkie then. What do you consider thrilling? I like driving around in an SUV with no doors or roof. Doing an aerial off the high bar is thrilling. And I really like roller coasters. Okay, let's go to the, let's go to the, 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 what's it called? The fair. Yeah, I, I went, I went to the fair with Rachel. That was pretty good. So you are a safe thrill seeker then none of that sounds too dangerous except the aerial off the high bar i was a gymnast in college yes i would say being a gymnast takes a certain amount of risk and danger oops here we go any other kind of dangerous activities you've engaged in other sports mostly water skiing snowboarding rollerblading four-wheeling in my suv which is why i got it and again nothing out of the ordinary have you ever done something weird and gotten the thrill from it <laughs> that's a strange thing to say I, I i got kinks okay i got kinks i want to shit on your face arianne <laughs> Honestly, I have been known to get a thrill from being naked in public. Oh, snap. Now we talking, okay? Forget about Paula. I am I am all ears now. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. When and where does this happen? Mostly at home. As you know, I have a pool and a hot tub. Hang on, hang on a second, Ariane. Let me just stop you for a second. You can't be naked in public if you're home, okay? I just, I gotta stop this train before it leaves the station because that is a stupid thing to say. When I'm home alone, I usually just swim naked and my fences are not very high so all my neighbors can see. Okay, see, every time, every time I try and, I try and pull the wool over her eyes and tell her that she's wrong, she ends up being right. I'm sorry, Harry Ann. I just, I just want to tell you you're a shitty person for some reason. Any place really public, hmm? I've been known to go to the store wearing nothing but a towel. My friend Jessie works there and she does not care. Okay. I'm assuming any store with a male in it or a lesbian would not care if you walked into the store, Ariane. Okay. And what about other store patrons? If the store is not empty, I wait for everyone to leave. But have you ever been naked in a place that is really public? I, I, look at that face. <sighs> I know what you're trying to say, Matt. You want me to get naked for you in public. You see that car over there? Let's fuck on it. <laughs> But have you ever been naked in places really public with other people around and dressing rooms don't count? I have been to the nude beach a couple of times. We have a nude beach? Yes, we do. It's over at the, um, uh, I don't know what the beach is called, but you got to take a little hike. Okay, I think it's two miles and then you're there and people play topless volleyball there, I'm pretty sure. Technically no, but at the lake beach, about a mile and a half from the main beach, there's a rocky ridge coming out of the lake. On the other side, there is more beach. While it's not official, that side of the ridge is considered clothing optional. You would think that one of the guys at work would have mentioned that to me. Well, 
They probably haven't since it is so hard to get to and it tends to be a sausage fest to use the popular term. Okay, so now we finally got a, a, a situation where we can make a decision again, which is good. So it is way more guys than girls then. Um, I'm not that interested then. Still, I'm going to have to check it out. We should go together so you can show me where this new beach is. Maybe. Whoa! Whoa, hey, hey, look out! This, this is the lightning! Be careful! Is that lightning outside? Sure look like it. A crash of thunder answers that question. Ooh! Where the hell did that storm come from? The sky was perfectly clear when we left the theater. Well, wow, that is weird. So, uh, about this trip to the new beach. There's no one gonna be at a new beach in the middle of the night, okay? We're trying to, we're, we're a here and now type of person. We need to get what we can while it's hot. We can talk about another date later, but this one just ended. Harry Ann, don't do this to me. With no moon out and no street lights, it is really dark out. The two of you leave the ice cream place and head to the parking garage where both of you parked your cars. The only light available is coming from your cell phones. Oh, I thought this was over. I thought it was gonna be like, well, that's it. Go the hell home. You're done. Electricity looks like looks to be out citywide. Is it safe to drive home? Can't stay here. It's about to rain and my SUV doesn't have a roof. So I had to leave now. Ha! You got wrecked because you don't have a roof on your SUV. My car is just parked over there. I have a roof. I could drive you home. Or what? Action Girl's afraid of a little blackout and thunderstorm? Let's get her there. Let's kick her in the pants. Boom. I'm intrigued. You have something daring in mind. Let's run around naked in the street. Nothing big, but ask yourself, how often do you get to see the city with no lights? I see where you're going, but let's stay off the streets. Let's go on the roof of the garage and see what's going on from there. Oh. Oh. Okay. She's showing me a little booty. She's trying to she's trying to get me in the mood. You walk up to the stairs, to the parking garage, to the top level. Cool. We got some light up from here. From the art museum. They must be running a generator. We should be able to see downtown over there in the corner. Wow, this is kind of eerie. Fog usually shows up after rain, not before. I see a lot of people coming out of the back exit of the nightclub. It's probably chaos in there. See, everything is connected together. It's so weird. Cars piling up the intersection. No traffic lights to control traffic. So how long before the looting starts? I'd be shocked if it happens in this town. You know, it's kind of romantic up here looking down on the chaos. Ooh. I think so too. She kisses you. Mm. Mm. Okay. There's nobody else up here. You wanna... Suddenly it starts raining. Ah, oh, cock blocked by the rain. Don't let that happen. The rain is coming down fast all of a sudden. The two of you run to the stairs where you get some shelter. Let's go to my car, it's more protected. Ariane nods in agreement. Do you want me to drive you home? You saw the traffic mess outside, may as well stay here for now. I can turn the heater on if you want. Sure, the cold isn't as bad as the wet though. There might be a t-shirt in the back you can use to dry off. Okay, okay, I see where this is going. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, see that booty? I see, I like the attention to detail here. You can actually see the little goosebumps on her butt. Ariane climbs into the back. Found it. Ooh, it's dirty and greasy. Oh yeah, I might have used it to clean the windshield and take off the oil cap. <laughs> I thought it was just like, you're some kind of fat neck beard and you're like wearing this big shirt that's all greasy and there's sweat stains. But no, it's just it's just because you're like, you know, doing car stuff. Luckily, there's a perfectly clean towel back here. I forgot I had that. And a sleeping bag, just in case I have to camp. Good. A time as any. <laughs> I read that weird. Ariane takes off her wet clothes and dries herself off with the towel. Okay, some boobs. Cool. Ah, much better. Hey, want to take off your wet clothes and join me in the sleeping bag? Yes, Ariane, I would like that. Electricity came back on. Well, so much for that idea. You may take me home now, Matt. When you get to Ariane's home, Ariane is wearing the towel. Okay. Come on in out of the rain. These, there are towels in the bathroom and I can throw your clothes in the dryer. Okay. Full on nudity here. Good stuff. Once I've dried off, what do you say to some hot cocoa? Oh man, I know. I watch. I play Grand Theft Auto. Okay, I know what happens when you're offered hot beverages at a house with a girl. Okay, you have sex. Sounds nice, Ariane. When it stops raining and your clothes are dry, you will need to take me back downtown to get my car. But for now, we should do something else. Since that is gonna be a while. Boom! Did you see that? You see that little transition there? That was great. Why don't we find something to do in the meantime? Okay, I can think of a few things. Actually, I can only think of one. And I think that is getting naked with Ariane in her bed and uh, doing stuff. Glad we are thinking the same way. Want to fuck? <laughs> that is the best line ever. There you go. All right. Now, next morning. I'm going to have to drive you downtown to get your SUV. No rush. It's a lazy Sunday morning. Here's to a trouble-free Sunday. Okay, we did it! Look at that! The two of you enjoy your Sunday together. That's such a that's such a lame way to end 
this, the two of you enjoyed your Sunday together. Things were good. All was well. Jesus, this has worse writing than J.K. Rowling's ending to Harry Potter. Okay, well, um, we didn't see Paula. Besides for at the drive and dine, I still have no idea how to get her, guys. But there is another date with Ariane, the blackout fun. You go up on a roof, you almost bang, then you go home and you do. Pretty straightforward stuff. So, uh, let's see if we know anything else about Ariane now. Because, uh, you know, there's still a bunch of stuff. Whoop, nope, player notebook. There. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming she, okay, she didn't like the action film. She didn't like the romantic comedy. So I'm assuming she might like the drama or something else. So, uh, you know, there's obviously more dates we have to go on with Ariane. Um, it shows you, let's go back for a second here. Um, it shows you the ending. So we've got two endings out of eight, no, nope, ten with Ariane. And we still have a bunch with Rachel that I may or may not do in the future. I'm not really sure. And Paula, Paula is missing. We got to find Paula eventually. But that's where I'm going to end this video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.